What's up YouTube? Tops85401 here. This is video number 23 on the road to 5000 and I went through all those wax boom cards aka junk wax cards that my buddy Reese sent me and I'm at the end of this video guys I'm going to show you all the variations I found all you all you collectors from the late 80s early 90s especially you player collectors I want to stick around to watch it and also let your friends know about the video because I think it'd be very informative but my one big pickup is this Fleer Triple Crown. And this is the one that is numbered to the amount of RBIs he had the previous year. So it's numbered to 137. If you guys know who that is in the background on this card, comment down below. And now we're going to get started on that Easter egg hunt I went on. So stay tuned, guys, and I hope you enjoy. It should be informative. So here's the results of the Junk Wax Easter egg hunt. And I think a lot of you 80s, late 80s, early 90s collectors will really appreciate this. So on 89 Donruss, there are four variations. There's one where it says denotes. And then on the left and right of where it says denotes, there's a star and it says incorporated with a dot, just like that, versus one that says denotes with a star and a left and the right of the word denotes and incorporated without a dot. And then you got one where it says denotes with a star only to the left with a dot and one that says denotes only with a star and then where it says incorporated no dot. So there's four variations. Guys, you're going to have to look on the back of your cards. If you look, you'll see all this stuff. But just want to show this. So all you Griffey collectors, there's 489 Donruss Griffeys to chase. And then on 90 Donruss, 91 Leaf, and um, 91 Donruss, on the back of the card where it says incorporated, there's incorporated with a dot versus incorporated without a dot. So there's a bunch of the Leaf and Donruss products that did that. And 90 Fleer and 92 Fleer, on the back of the card where it says USA printed in USA, one has U period dot period or U period S period A period versus U period S period A with no period. And of course, everybody knows that in 90 Fleer, there was also a printed in Canada variation as well. So we got those variations there. Then moving on to the stadium club, this charter member box set on the bottom left corner of the card, there's one star versus two stars. They're really small stars. You guys got to really look for them. On 91 Stadium Club, uh, next to where it shows the copyright date, you got an A with a star and then copyright 1991 versus a B with a star copyright 1991. And then on 1992 Stadium Club, same thing to the left of where the copyright date is. You have an E copyright 1992 versus an F copyright 1992. So all these cards, I believe every card in the set, there's going to be the same variation no matter what player. I think this card might be a little bit unique because at the end of the paragraph that they talk about Barry Bonds's, you know, highlights and everything, the last word of the paragraph is season. And on this card, one variation has the dot, 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 like really, really close to, to um, themselves versus the dots way spread out. So those are all the variations, the Easter egg hunt that Reese sent to me. Hopefully this will be fun for you guys to look through your cards if you collect any players from this era. And thanks so much for watching. And as always, happy collecting and variation hunting. So much fun, guys.